This pache is delicious. It's primarily Cab Franc, but it's super light and wow, great with this particular recipe. Now, just like the last one that I did, this, this one is made with a cream sauce, but this is made a little differently. So what I have in my pan is a little butter. We're gonna start with that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of bacon to that. Now, for this recipe, you can do the bacon at the beginning, or what you can do is fry the bacon and crumble it at the end. Either way, it's just delicious. And I'm going to add that to my pan and just let it fry a little bit while I get my other ingredients ready. This is a fast recipe. It can be ready for you in as little as 15 or 20 minutes for dinner. All you have to do is have a little bit of roasted chicken on hand, a little bit of the rest of ingredient, and you are ready to go. And the wonderful thing about a recipe like this is that you can experiment with the things you like in a cream sauce. So maybe you don't like a simple tomato, but you like a sun-dried tomato. Maybe you don't like tomato at all. Maybe you like a little bit of spinach in this. Maybe you like it with the bacon, maybe without. So you can experiment, have fun with the recipe. Now, while this is getting fried up a little bit, I want to chop some fresh mushrooms. Now, this is an exotic mushroom blend. It's about six ounces. And usually in your grocery store, you can find a nice blend. It has a little shiitake, maybe a little oyster mushroom, some portobello, and sometimes button mushrooms. So just a little bit of a blend. You don't need uh, a blend if you don't like all of those flavors, but I like this one with a blend. I really love a wild mushroom flavor with this Cab Franc. Mm, it just sets it off. It's the perfect blend and makes for a delicious, easy meal. I don't want to mince them. I want a lot of texture in this recipe, and so I'm just going to give them a little light chopping. And now I wanna chop up a little bit of chicken breast. Now this is the chicken breast that was left when I made my Kentucky Hot Browns. How perfect. So I've got two delicious meals in one chicken breast. The skin on a chicken breast like this for this particular recipe can be a little bit uh, cumbersome. It, uh, it's hard to eat. And even if you love the chicken skin, it's just not delicious in this recipe. Now, if you start to get fond on the bottom of the pan, now that's that brown protein that's building up right down there on the pan. At that point, go ahead and put in your vegetables that you want. Your bacon will continue to crisp up a little bit more and it will be fine. So for me, I'm going to add some shallot. And this is just one chopped shallot. And about half of a red bell pepper. Now, I like to use fresh red bell pepper if I have it. If I don't and I have roasted red bell peppers that I've canned or that are in a can or even frozen peppers that I've stuck in my freezer after a great harvest, use that. Now, the bacon continues to crisp and the mushrooms, I really just want those slightly cooked. I want a nice texture on those mushrooms. So I don't want them so wilted that you can't tell there are mushrooms in the pan. And at this point, I'm going to add the thickener. So that's gonna be a little bit of flour. Just like we did with our Kentucky Hot Browns, but we used just flour and butter. With this, I want to go ahead and put the flour into the vegetables and stir that around. Now, if you have mushrooms that are really dry, they might soak up all the butter. Have a little butter extra on hand, just in case. If you don't have the fat in the pan, the flour doesn't cook. So you wanna make sure you have enough flour and butter together to really make its own roux right in that mushroom mixture. It's ready. I'm going to pour in some milk. Now, as that milk hits the pan, make sure you're stirring well. Now, for this particular recipe, heavy cream or half and half works really, really well because you want a nice, thick, very rich sauce for this particular pasta. But if you're really watching your fats, 
You can cut down on the butter, use a little bit of defatted chicken stock in place, and of course you can use a skim milk or even an evaporated skim milk works fine. Now I see it's starting to bubble on the edge, and remember, once it starts to bubble on the edge, that thickening will start to occur very, very quickly. All right, before it starts to thicken too much, I wanna add my chicken. We'll stir that through and get it warmed, and then it'll thicken a little bit more. And we're going to add some spinach to that right at the end, so the spinach just begins to wilt. You could add basil, but the basil doesn't necessarily go tremendously well with that Cab Franc flavor. So if you're going to add something green, I'd go for spinach or kale. And then at the very last minute, we're gonna to toss in some pasta. Okay, I have about a pound of pasta here, but I'm only gonna use about a half pound, I think, in this recipe, maybe three quarters. I like to sort of look at it, eyeball it, and also it depends on what kind of pasta you're using. If it's something that's going to soak up sauce, use a little bit less. All right, I've got about two thirds pound of pasta right there. And I want this to be saucy, so I don't want so much pasta that I don't enjoy the sauce. The smell is amazing, the taste is perfect and we are going to have an amazing meal. So let's pour a bit of this piche. This is an incredible wine, light, airy, perfect with this light and airy chicken dish with pasta. Oh, it's incredible. So I hope you'll enjoy this one. Mm 